Greetings Commanders, this is Commander Mekin, and with all the recent content of Update 17, it's just about time we made a combat video for the new Pirate Spire sites. By now you've probably seen a few videos and have a general understanding of like what Spire sites are, the fact that there's like multiple different sort of those tall spires in specific locations, like the one we're currently using for events and the like is one in High ID Sector STQ B5-5 which just happened to be in twilight just for the weekend and now it's kind of on the darker side of the planet so not nearly as beautiful of a setting but still pretty remarkable i am in the private group session of the antixino initiative so i think we'll find quite a few commanders going to be on site one of the key things about fighting at firewood spire sites is um, it's ideal to do so in a group and as you can see there's actually commanders coming and going straight from that site also it's worthwhile to bring a ship that has either um, only human modules or packs a significant number of modified plasma shard cannons, um, much sorry, modified plasma cannons or modified shard cannons. The plasma cannons and shard cannons have much more of a punch. However, they're vulnerable to the anti-guardian field that some of the departing officers will fire and constantly can be rendered useless if, uh, if you don't kill your officers very, very quickly. On the other hand, human weapons are far less damaging, but don't suffer from the same vulnerability and typically allow you to stay on site somewhat longer and is my personal preference. Also, with so much DPS available in a group, the additional firepower of Guardian weapons doesn't make all that much of a difference. I would say more is more in this case in terms of the commanders participating. We just had an event here this Saturday. We um, had a few hours hunting we have a very large group of almost 200 people to the point that we actually had to split instances. And as you can see, I have three billion in the bank and I still have yet to cash. From that event, I would say currently, Orphos farming at these pirate sites is the biggest money-making activity in the game, bar none. It might actually be one of the largest money-making activities in the game ever. Even station combat zones don't, don't allow you to make this much money this fast and are more subject dependent to missions and the like. However, obviously, you need a group, but fortunately, there's plenty of hunting going on at this time. So chances are, if you join one of the private groups that are dedicated to AX, and you drop into one of these sites, you will find, like in this case, a lot of commanders that are already here shooting some orifices. Now, we are on the dark side of the planet, so like we'll want to turn night vision on because I can't really see anything right now. And let's see, there's the spires. I see a lot of scouts on scanners, but I don't see orifices yet. Actually, there it is. So that's an orifice, and it's an orifice that was launched by a phasing membrane down here. So this one will fire an anti-guardian field when aggroed, so we have to be more careful. There's actually another orifice down here that I just visually id down, which is a patrolling one. These orifices on the flip side do... Oops, I just got hit by a Banshee missiles, which, like, happened to shut me down for a few seconds. Fortunately, these missiles, missiles are much shorter in duration than the shutdown field of the interceptors themselves, but if you're moving quickly towards the ground, they can be painful, as is the case now. Ouch. There you go. So this is the actually most danger thing that can happen in the site of getting constantly shut down. Like, you can bring a shutdown field neutralizer that's going to protect you from the interceptor shutdown pulses, or you can bring a thyroid pulse neutralizer, which will protect you from the Banshee missiles, but when there's so many shutdown fields firing at any point in time, it's extremely difficult to fire them in time. And so you should be ready for encounters with what we call Threat 12 Ground, which is what happened to me just now again. And being ready generally means packing a decent amount of hull and carrying your friendly, ever useful repair limpets, which I'm about to fire. There we go. So we're down to 36% hull, but that is plenty with repair limpets and we're gonna go all right back up and back in action so where were we so there's a few ships here and we got shut down again <laughs> so that's the thing unless you take out the banshees on foot you will constantly be getting shut down uh, by these banshee missiles and especially this actually wasn't a banshee missile this was an orphrus interceptor trigger firing which can make it a bit annoying but once you have an organized group uh chances are officers will die very quickly and you don't get all these shot down fields constantly firing Nevertheless, it is something that you should be prepared for and you should anticipate if you're going to come to a firewood side.
fire side. Um, another thing is if you anticipate a shutdown field, you can always boost upwards and boosting upwards generally means that you're not going to hit the ground. All right, back to where we were, hopefully this time for good. So again, we'll want to use human weapons. I have caustic sinks, they're not mandatory, but they're handy because the caustic trails of the officers um, are actually quite painful from a caustic standpoint. If you don't have those, you can bring decontamination limpets. And this is like one of those black things that sort of shows that we're about to be kind of meeting at Orphrus down here. There it is. And hopefully some of the other commanders will join me as well. Otherwise, this is going to take a while. But even like if you're just shooting them themselves, the one that come in, don't fire um, the anti-guardian field and don't shoot back. None of the officers actually shoots back ever. So you can just sit here while shooting them. I see our commanders coming in range. While they do that, I'm going to pop another repair limpet. Officers start with a shield. They're the only interceptor that actually do that. Um, and um, they have no hearts. So once the shield is down, you can basically shoot them and just keep shooting until they're dead. Which is not common target behavior, but it's nice. All right. There's a friendly anaconda going around it. And the shield is down. And now they're using plasma charges on it, which is also nice. Now we only have four commanders in the interest and it looks like two of the four are otherwise occupied. So this is going a little bit slower than it typically goes, but like, nevertheless, it's slow but steady. There we go. And that is an Orphus down. Let's see if there is another one that is keeping our commanders occupied, because it looks like they're kind of busy. So I'm not sure what they're up to, but let's see. Follow the beams is usually a good idea to see, like to find Orphuses in an instance. But there is none here, so I'm not sure what they are up to. They like looks maybe be exploring some of these sites somehow, um, and that's okay. Anyway, as you can see, that was a 40 million bond. There's also scouts in the instances that are kind of really annoying, and every now and then it's good to do some sort of scout maintenance. Ooh, plasma charger shots. What are the plasma charger shots for? Uh, another scout, it seems. As you can see, those balls are the Banshee missiles that are being fired from the ground. There's a flame shift anomaly detected, which can be either on Orphrus or Scouts. It's a bigger one down in the back, so presumably this one's an Orphrus. I'm kind of pointing at it to see if the other commanders can pick a command on my cube. And so it will like, actually show up when the Orphrus shows up. But I might have been wrong. No, there it is. It's coming. And here's another one. They start cold, so they're hard to target at the beginning, but typically once they're in the instance for like a handful of seconds, they heat up and constantly they're easy to target. Uh oh. That was like a no warning shutdown field from an Orphus, probably like that was spawning from the Spire. So no way to defend against that. And we're rolling on the ground again. Wow, that was uh, quite the rolling. All right, back in action once again. Keep those repair lampets on. And uh, let's see if we can go back to finding that Orphus that we were dealing with a moment ago. Hmm. Was it the one on the back of Spire? Presumably so. Let's go around it then. Uh, 
I hear plasma charges firing, but all right. Is that the one? No, that one has like full shields. Definitely not the one. Uh, let's see where the other one is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I lost contact with that one. Oh well, let's shoot the other one. Shield is almost down. And opening fire with cannons. Antics and missile racks are more damaging than multi cannons. They're harder to use, but they're almost perfect against slow moving targets again, like the Orphus. So, if you have access to those, especially the Sirius version, which uh, have a really hard time against moving targets, but are, are high capacity and even more damaging than even the enhanced Antics and missile racks, but maybe the best weapons for Orphus hunting. And that's about it. Uh, being a group of friends, like you can keep doing this like all day long if you want. Orphuses will keep spawning. Like there's another spawn incoming there. All of these are scouts because these are the smaller black um, sort of spawn clouds. But there may be a, I hear crackling, so it looks like there's an Orphus spawn. There we go, inbound here. And again, as long as you keep straighting and keep moving, the Banshee meta missiles also cannot really hurt you, and consequently. Um, it's relatively safe. What's annoying is if you do stop moving, then you might get hit by several Banshee missiles in a row, and you might get shut down field from the Orphus that's departing, and then you're going to spend most of your time shut down, which is not nice, but again, especially in a large group, things should die very, very quickly and should not be an issue. You can also clear Banshees on the ground if you want beforehand, which makes for like one additional annoying thing not that you can skip having to do your with but as I mentioned it's not really essential all right let's do one more and then wrap it up so in addition to Orphus hunting what you can do at spire sites is you can um, do quite a bit of sort of exploration I want to call it uh, related activities like there's some materials that you can grab that are exclusive to this site that drop after a mini game at the spire sites and under the barnacle matrixes although those have no use in game yet so it's hard to know whether there's any benefit in how using them or not that's it those are three orifices in a quick video for 120 million added to the balance here um, if uh, if you like making money, this, this is a good place to be. And with that final shutdown, glory to mankind. Commander Mekan, over and out.